here we have made a kit uh, which is a speedometer as well as an odometer uh, device so here we have uh, designed a particular wheel which is of a standard diameter as you can see this is the wheel of a standard diameter and uh, there are infrared uh, there is an infrared sensor which is attached so there is an ir transmitter and receiver so whenever we run this uh, motor and the wheel rotates the ir <coughs> sensor starts working and the frequency with which the ir receiver receives the uh, infrared rays from the transmitter is sent to this particular uh, a microcontroller and then uh, through that uh, through the frequency we can understand or we can uh, calculate what is the speed or what is the uh, rotations per uh, revolutions per minute that this motor is running or that particular vehicle is running with and also with respect to the time you can also understand how much distance that particular wheel will uh, run or that particular vehicle has already covered so we'll just show you a demo as you can see we have a, a battery connector here so we have to attach this uh, kit to a battery so right now as you can see the speed is zero so uh, you would have observed that uh, as soon as you power the motor the speed is displayed on this LCD screen and also the uh, the particular distance has uh, varied uh, it is increased from 83 to 85 so this is how the kit works you can order this kit from our site kitscrew.com where you'll get two versions of the kit one is where you'll get the complete ready-made kit and the other one is where you'll get a complete knockdown kit and with the help of our video tutorials you'll be able to assemble the components and finish the kit by yourself in this section of the video, we'll see what all components are used in this kit and how to assemble those components on the PCB and how does this kit work and how to check the power supplies. So first we'll understand how this kit works. So here we have the section of the power supply first. Uh, this is a power jack where we have given a, uh, the power through an adapter. And this is the on-off switch which controls the main power to the entire kit. A bridge rectifier is used in case you're giving a uh, power input through a transformer. This converts uh, the AC into DC supply and a capacitor which uh, removes all the repulses and smoothens the pulsating DC into smooth DC. A uh, voltage regulator IC is used because most of the components here on this kit works on 5 volts. So we have voltage regulator IC to regulate the voltage. And then uh, we have a uh, an IR that is infrared transmitter. This is a receiver. This is a transmitter of the uh, infrared. So this is a transmitter and this is a receiver. So <coughs> the transmitter is constantly transmitting infrared rays. And whenever the uh, in receiver receives it, or whenever it receives the signal, it uh, the signal is transmitted to the uh, comparator IC. This is an uh, this is an uh, comparator IC LM358, and this converts the analog signal from the receiver to a digital signal, and then sends it to the microcontroller. Now the frequency of uh, the signal is then detected by the microcontroller, and then it uh, converts that into the speed or the RPM of the uh, wheel or the motor. And also uh, with respect to the time, because uh, everything is time based, so uh, in, on the basis of that we can. I mean calculate the distance or the uh, odometer reading so this is the basic working of the overall kit and now we'll understand how to assemble the components so we have all the components here which is required to make this kit so this is the main PCB so this is the top side this is the bottom side and uh, the technology that we use is called a through hole technology in which we drill holes from the top and then uh, solder all the components on the bottom so uh, I'll keep this blank PCB in line with the main PCB so that we can understand the orientation and alignment of each and every component. So first starting off with the power supply, we have a power jack here. Then an on off switch, it does not have any polarity. Then a bridge rectifier is used, it has four terminals, two positive a uh, DC output and two uh, AC input signals. So while inserting, we have to ensure that the longest stem, which is the positive terminal is on the top left side. The rest of the pins will align by itself and then to re remove all the repulses from the DC signal 
we need to insert this electrolytic capacitor now even this has polarity the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal in case both the stems are of equal length uh, the strip on the capacitor shows that this is a negative terminal so while inserting we have to ensure that the positive terminal of the capacitor is in line with the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier and then a voltage regulator ic is used as said earlier in order to control the voltage because most of the components on this kit works on 5 volts so the left stem on the front face is the the left stem is the input and then ground and then third stem on the right is the output so while inserting you have to ensure that you are facing the front front side then an led is used as you can see one is a power indicator led the other one is the led to for the transmitter and the third one is the led for the receiver so three led an led has a polarity so the stem which is longer in length is positive uh, uh, terminal and in case both the stems are of equal length the bulb of the led gets flat on the negative side so while inserting the led this led we have to ensure that we are facing the negative end and along with the led we provide a 1k resistor which acts as a protector so this completes a section of the power supply then you have to insert the ic so this is the 28 pin ic so as you'll notice there's a notch on the ic on the top side so the top left pin is a pin number 1 and then counting counter clockwise the pin on the right of the notch is a uh, pin number 28 so while inserting first we insert a base so that we can protect the ic uh, during the soldering process or in case you need to replace the ic in the future you can do that and on top of it uh, you'll have to insert the ic with the notch on the left side as you can see here so this uh, ic works on a clock frequency so for that we have to insert a crystal oscillator and two capacitors of 33 picofarad each in parallel in order to start the oscillation process a micro switch is used to reset the microcontroller and so whenever you press this switch uh, the microcontroller is reset and another resistor of 10k with color code brown black and orange is uh, then attached next to the micro switch to pull up the micro switch and then another base for the comparator ic is used now while inserting we have to ensure that the base base is the notch is on the bottom side so here the notch will be on the bottom side on top of this you can place the comparator ic and then another capacitor of 104.1 microfarad is inserted here and then a two pin connector is used uh, to connect the ir receiver and then a capacitor of i mean a resistor of 10k is used here which is used to control the signal received from the ir receiver and then another led with negative terminal on the top away from you so this is to this is to indicate when the ir is receiving a signal as you can see and another resistor of 1k and then mm, this one more two pin connector here to connect the transmitter and a couple of resistors as you can see here uh, both are of 1k uh, even an led is used so this is this led the negative term end will be on the uh, top side and the two resistors will be connected here <clears throat> one is for the transformer to control the signal to the uh, <coughs> transistor i mean uh, transmitter and the uh, other one is to control the current supply to the led and one more micro switch is used here this is not required but so after that you can see a couple of potentiometers one is to control the sensitivity of the ir transmitter and receiver 
and the other one is to control the display properties of the LCD screen. So you can change it by using a screwdriver and a, bu a buzzer is used. Uh, the buzzer has a positive uh, terminal which is uh, the stem having a longer length. So that will be uh, fixed on the left side here. And before inserting the LED LCD screen, first you have to ins insert a butt strip. So this is a butt strip and this is a female part which has to be mounted on the LCD screen here and then it has to be mounted uh, the overall assembly has to be mounted on the uh, male birth strip so this is how you need to uh, fix all the components now before fixing the IC and before running this kit we need to check the power supply for that we'll use a digital multimeter so the body of the uh, multimeter has to be I mean the ground terminal has to be connected to the body of the voltage regulator IC the first pin should show the input voltage the third pin should show the 5 volts output supply then as you know that this is a receiver here so the positive that is the power supply has to be connected to the negative end of the receiver I repeat this is the positive supply and this is the the other one this has to be ground so the positive supply that is 5 volt supply has to be connected to the negative end and the other one is varying because it will it depends on the uh, signal as you can see this is uh, changing because of the signal but this is constant so this has to be connected to the negative end and in case of the transmitter the positive end that is the 5 volt supply has to be connected to the positive end of the uh, transmitter and the negative end has to be connected to the negative end even this will vary so the IR transmitter and receivers are like uh, an LED the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal and after that pin number 1 of the microcontroller should show 5 volts uh, the second and the second last pin of the volt uh, LCD screen should show 5 volts and also you need another power supply for uh, connecting the motor so you can use the you can use a normal 9 volt battery as you can see so this connector will be give, provided to you in this kit and you can connect the volt uh, ba battery directly so this is how the kit works so you can order this kit from our site kitscrew.com where you'll get two versions of the kit one is where you'll get the complete ready-made kit and the other one is where you'll get a self-assembly kit and with the help of our video tutorials you'll be able to complete this kit by yourself